Good day, this is Prophetess Wendy. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're joining us for the first time, I'd like to welcome you. This is the true prophet of the Lord. I'm guided by the word of God. I take it as it is. I do not add or subtract. If you happen to hear anything new, just know that it's a revelation that comes from up above. I believe in God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. To my subscribers, welcome home. Hallelujah. This prophetess loves you so much. The channel is growing because of you. From one to 300 and something, it's an honor. Hallelujah. I'm so excited and I'm happy. To those who always comment down below, I thank you so much for your love and support. If you're watching me for the first time, you are welcome. Hallelujah. Don't forget to subscribe and support this channel. Be part of the historical moment to say that before she reached 1,000 subscribers or that K, I was one of the subscribers in the early days. Hallelujah. May the God of heaven continue to bless you where you're watching from. Today we're discussing one of the most important topic in my life, in your life, in your children's life, in, also in the generation to come, hallelujah, to say that what does the Bible say about stealing from your parents? Amen. It's good that we listen to what God says about stealing from, from your parents because most people are guilty when it comes to this one, hallelujah. So many people will say, I don't consider uh, taking something from your parents uh, being a theft, hallelujah. <laughs> But it's good we hear what God has to say. Amen. Because it's important what God is teaching us. Because God says he wants us to be obedient to his word. So many times. Okay, let's just start by defining what it means to steal. To steal is when you take something without the knowledge of the other. Amen. Or without the permission of the next person. Or without the person knowing. Hallelujah. <laughs> So that is when you steal. But here it's a different case because so many times when we steal from our parents' home, unless if it's out of control, I've never seen people being arrested from stealing their mother's earring. As I'm sitting here, I believe that I'm guilty. Sometimes I'll find something beautiful in my mother's home. I will take and say, ah, she doesn't mind. It's my mom. Hallelujah. She does the same thing when she comes to my house. I believe there are items that she has from my house that I did not give her. But today it's not begin it's not talking about a mother stealing from a daughter is talking about a daughter stealing from the mom <laughs> but it says parents so let's just read amen let's just read so that you stop Jacobet taking your mother's things without her permission amen the bible says we must respect our parents because they are like god into our lives amen why because when we listen to them god is able to uh, bless us amen so i want us to quickly go to the book of proverbs chapter 28 uh, uh, starting from verse 24 it says this is a vision amen uh, this is another trans new living translation it says anyone who steals from his father and mother amen whether you're adopted <laughs> we don't want to hear whether you are like a, a moses situation or you're adopted if he were to steal from pharaoh's daughter amen Mm, listen to what the Bible says. Anyone who steals, or your guardian for that matter, will represent your mother. But here it's specific to say, anyone who steals from his father and mother and says, what's wrong with that? Amen. Me taking uh, 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 the earrings from my mom's, amen, from my mom's house. What's wrong with that? Me taking my father's car when he's not at home, I go to shoot, to buy bread. I did not even ask for his permission and come back. What's wrong with that? Amen. Me taking my father's jacket because I was feeling cold. Amen. I didn't ask him, but I just took the jacket. I went to work. But I won't mind. That is my guy. Hallelujah. But the Bible says stealing is stealing. Even when you are taking from your parents. Amen. Did we finish the scripture or can we read it again? The book of Proverbs, and we are starting from chapter uh, 28 there, uh, chapter 28, verse 24. It says, anyone who steals from his father and mother and says, what's wrong with that? It is no better than a murderer. Amen. I'm not saying that this is small scene. I mean, when you go to your mother's house, you take a cup. What's wrong with you taking your mother's cup, hallelujah, <laughs> or your father's cup because you didn't have? Most people will steal. Amen. It, it, the book of, of Proverbs in the Good News Evasion says that when you steal from your parents, you are no better than a common thief. <laughs> amen. You are a thief. 
Amen. A thief is somebody who takes something without the knowledge of the other. So the Bible is encouraging. We must not do that. Amen. But most people who still they are like us. I just saw it. It was so beautiful. I felt like they won't mind. Amen. Some goes to shop and steal and say, you know what? I felt because I don't have. Let me just steal. But here it's not speaking about shop per se, but it's speaking about us taking from our parents even myself I, I i feel like before i read this scripture i used to take a lot of things from my mom i would go there i'll find something that i like i mean why because you know a daughter and mom they have something in common so you will get there you find flowers you like it you take it without her knowledge sometimes or you go into a house she's not there amen then you get there you find her diary you just take or something whatever whatever that you are taking if if, if you have taken something from my mom just comment down below hallelujah <laughs> if you are like me once taken something from my mom comment down below i would like to hear what you have taken amen <laughs> we, we still i was watching this other video you, uh, uh, from crazy entertainers i like watching them because i like watching people do jokes where the son says to the father father you took my underwear and the father says we only have one underwear in this house the one that wakes up early he takes the father's underwear so you can imagine that people can go as far as even stealing people's brass underwear so many things that they can steal but uh, take let me say take like the bible was saying that we defend ourselves by saying what's wrong with that <laughs> you understand you say what's wrong with that the bible says we must not do it we are just like a common thief so I wanted to encourage you, don't steal from your mom. 